What is going on guys, it's your boy Killer Cam back with another video and today I'm looking at Royal Rumble 2009. Um, this event was an overall good event and I got the Blu-ray here, it was released exclusively in the UK. There's no Blu-ray extras but it's cool to see it in HD and I've got all of the other ones on Blu-ray except 18. So 09, and then I'll have 10 and 11 coming today. Um, I got my notes. I had to write it here on my phone. And let's get into this. All right, so it took place on January 25th, 2009. The Joe Louis Arena in Detroit, Michigan. This was the 22nd annual Royal Rumble. Um... Jimmy Wayne Gang defeated Paul Birch on the dark match before the pay-per-view. Opening match of the night, Jack Swagger defended the ECW Championship against Matt Hardy. And this was, um, the, how do I describe it? The gray belt. It was not the, um, old ECW title. It was the new one. Um, I'm trying to see here, uh, Swagger had a bit of an undefeated streak going into this match. Uh, Swagger's used to winning and got knocked down by a series of right hands by Matt Hardy. Swagger went to the outside, tried to regroup, but Matt gave him a few shots and caught him with a clothesline. Uh, you had Let's Go Hardy chance in there. Um, Jack Swagger hit a shoulder block. Um... Uh, there was a cool sequence at the end to where Matt hit a moonsault on Swagger, but Swagger kicked out. Matt went for the twist of fate, but Swagger reversed it. And then the side effect sent Matt into the ring shoulder first. And then after that, Swagger got the gut wrench power bomb and got the win. Um, the All-American American retained the title. Uh, I did not mind it. Uh, I felt a few times Matt kicked out wasn't believable. But other than that... Uh, both of these men could have delivered better. Uh, but in saying that, I should still point out that it was a good match, but nothing more. Uh, I'm going to give it about two stars. It was, it was like I said, it was a good match. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, Beth Phoenix took on Molina next for the Women's Championship. Uh, Beth had a beatdown on Molina for a while, and then Molina just kind of came back and won. Um, with a better crowd and more efficient work, this could have done more. Star and a half. I mean, this match was, it was all right. Melina became a three-time women's champion. I mean, what are you supposed to say in an aspect like that? I mean, really wasn't anything to say. Um, John Cena versus JBL, and it's cool because there was a tease where JBL had said if he would have won, Shawn Michaels would have been free because he was under JBL's contract or whatever. It was a weird thing that was pretty cool. But uh, then they showed The Undertaker, and Undertaker told Shawn Michaels, sometimes it's hell trying to get to heaven. And I thought that that was pretty unique, the way that they did it, and thought it was very, very awesome, and I loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved every bit of it. Um, this match was not all that good. They've stuck up the joint on more than one occasion. But of course, with the right gimmick, they can do anything. You want to see the best match between these two? Judgment Day 05. The I Quit match is an absolute classic. Um, trying to think. I took a little bit of notes here uh, in this match. Um, JBL did hit a clothesline from hell. Cena kicked out. Uh, Michael stared at JBL saying, do something. Um... I'm not going to call this match great, but it was still fun and did its job. Two and three quarters of a star. Uh, Cena kept kicking out of different moves, though. You know, JBL kept trying to do good offensively. Couldn't really get nothing going. And then um, defensively, just couldn't get a lot of stuff going. I mean, it was, it was weird, but it was what it was. Jeff Hardy versus Edge. All right. Fond memories of this match. Um, I remember watching this live. And I was expecting Christian. Everybody was expecting Christian. Um, 
Jeff was champion coming into this. It was his first title reign, and it, he had actually won the title the month before at Armageddon. Um, I just thought this match was great overall. No disqualification. The big swerve at the end, Matt Hardy came out and gave a concerto to Jeff Hardy. It's a moment that, shocking. Even to this day, me knowing what happened, still seeing it, hurts me because I'm a big Hardy Boys fan, and that hurt me a lot. Uh, I really thought it was going to be Christian, and I thought maybe, you know, that they would set up for like an Edge and Christian versus Hardy's type thing. Um, four and a quarter star, this was match of the night. Um, a fantastic match. Uh, definitely a match to go back and watch on this show. Um... Yeah, I mean, it did what it was supposed to. I mean, it's Edge and Jeff Hardy. Uh, They got almost 20 minutes. And they just told a good story all throughout. Because, you know, you had Jeff, who had been getting attacked numerous weeks and weeks and weeks. And you thought it was Edge that was doing it, but turned out it was Matt. You know, Edge would become WWE Champion, would drop it at No Way Out, and then would win the world title at No Way Out. And would feud with Cena and Big Show. Um... Matt would feud with Jeff, but I I just thought that it was, like, so cool. You know, Edge and Jeff, back again, were wrestling each other. It was like the good old days. Um, Edge ended up getting the title uh, after defeating Jeff Hardy. Uh, The match was fun. It was good. It was even great due to enough spots and the booking. I wish these guys were given 20 minutes, though, to tell a good story. It deserves a higher rating. Because of how well they pulled it off. Alright. Main event time. The 30 man Royal Rumble match. You started out the match with Rey Mysterio. And John Morrison. I think that that was a good set. Like a good. Way to start off the match. Uh, Going into this too. It was kind of predictable who was going to win. You kind of thought it was going to be Orton. I mean. The roster did seem balanced. Um, The Rumble was on. Um, Mysterio and Ray got it off and Morrison showed Ray a couple times and uh, number three was Carlito Uh, that was a good entrant to see it's always good to see Carlito next entrant was MVP at number four Um, I remember though in the opening bout of it the guy that dominated was Vladimir Kozlov I believe he had like three eliminations it was Three or four, I believe. Um, But he did have eliminations, and then Triple H came out and kind of dominated. Triple H came out at seven. Randy Orton came out at eight. But Randy Orton and Triple H were the final two guys left in there. And because then you had Legacy, Ted DiBiase, and Cody Rhodes were helping Orton the entire match. Just, they were all just duking it out, going through the entire match. It was good stuff. Good stuff all around. I loved it. I mean, this... This is a fantastic show. You know, obviously, I have a region-free Blu-ray player, so I can see it, and it's pretty cool. You know, I I love the way that it worked out, but I had guys like Punk, Big Show, Goldust, Taker, Jericho, a bunch of guys in this match, and it was a really, really good match overall, Uh, good Rumble match. Um, It went almost an hour, three and... uh, 3.75 out of 5. Overall, I give this show a 7.5 out of 10. Uh, The show is judged largely on the Rumble match. It was great. So the show will not get a bad rating. Uh, The fact that this pay-per-view was more fun than anything else. Out of the star ratings helps it get an overall rating. A good show. Pick it up. Especially for those last two matches. It's a good show. Or just watch it on the network. Whatever you prefer. Um, so the way the schedule is looking is I'm going to, I'm going to be done with everything by Sunday. Um, 10, 11 and 12, I'm going to try to have up tomorrow or tonight. Um, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm going to try and do, um, whenever I'm going to try and have all of this stuff out to you by Sunday or Saturday night. So Sunday, all I got to do is review the 2020 rumble. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. In the next episode, we're talking about who is the one.
the 2010 Royal Rumble match. And we're getting close to the end. Thank God. Peace. Deuces.